Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M2, 2, 2, 1. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, we're going to talk about the motion task table that we have in the software for the M2, 1 when we use the PTOs. So let's go to the presentation. So in the past, we have already seen the different movements that we have for the PTO. Now it's time to make some kind of mix and put that on a table. So let's continue with this part presentation. At this point, you probably already familiar with this uh, motion state diagram that we have in the M21 for the PTO. So basically, the idea of this motion task table is to organize mm, this mm -hmm, these uh, movements in a table so we can specify when to activate all of them in a specific order so let's deal with this part of the presentation so in order to add into our um, program this table or the function block that execute the table The parameters that we want to configure here is going to be different okay because as we saw in the past if you are compare for example move absolute with move relative one is the distance and the other one for the move absolute is the position because it's regarding is related to the home position to our zero so for that reason you have position and then if you are using move relative you have the distance because on the actual position that you have how far is going to be the movement that you're going to make and also if you're going to make a move velocity position and distance um, there are going to be nothing to configure in there because what we care is about the velocity how uh, how it's going to be the velocity that we want the axis to move so the other parameter that we need to check here is the next step so the next step will allow us to identify when to proceed with the next step so if you are using a movement for example more uh, let's see more relative you will need to define okay when it finish when you conclude with the move relative how i'm going to go to the next step okay that's why you have in here different options for the next step you can see you can see here that you have the done you can blend with the previous movement and also you can configure a percentage and variable to execute the next step or use the touch pro that we have uh, that we are going to cover later uh, 
have the possibility to use a delay in order to when the movement has finished to start the next one uh, if we have selected the movement for if you have selected the delay we also have the possibility to select in milliseconds okay uh, from one to this number over here okay the delay that we want in milliseconds or we can assign a percentage nw value okay so now that we have seen this let's try to put this into our application so let's go to the full view of this okay different moment modified parameters online so let's go to uh, empty project so uh what we need to do in this case is empty project need to select one plc with the pto functionalities okay here i'm going to configure one pto just quickly i have already covered this part before just gonna simply use it like that so the motion table is going to be here motion task pto here you will need to align this axis with the one that you have already configured and select one table okay here you can see it's in red because we haven't configured anything so i'm going to cancel that part and go to the tools in tools we should be able to select pto options motion task table here you have the empty zero and the one to two three you can specify here a table but what I'm going to do is to configure it. So imagine that you have a more relative, another more relative, another more absolute, uh, more velocity, uh, more absolute again, uh, more relative, more velocity, uh, more relative. Okay, here you can see all the moments that we have so more relative we can configure the distance the next step can be the done so when it reaches the position it just go to the next one and you can select the distance and how to proceed with the next one and automatically the software assign the instance for these objects as you can see over here okay so if you need to make a change online you cannot access to this percentage empty zero what you need to do is to access to this part of the software so move absolute you can specify what to do the next step then move velocity when it's
So this is how you can configure your motion task table based on the moment that you want the axis to have. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to like can make a small demonstration of how you can work with the actual function block. So I have this application already made. Um, so I have defined here this um, function block, the motion table, and I have add this um, this additional contacts and coils just for demonstration and see what what do we have. So in this case, what I have is a start. Okay, to start the sequence, but before doing the start sequence, is we must have the axis with the power. So we need to execute the power first. Then what we can do is to have the possibility to stop, uh, to pause the um, the motion task table using this input. And if you want to be always repetitive, what you can do is to uh, generate like a loop with this one. So I already created this motion task table over here, configuration. Okay, so I have these two. two. It's going to make, in this case, it's going to make um, 10 turns forward with one velocity. Then it will stop. I will start with another, with the move, move velocity. And then when it, when I have the confirmation, I touch probe, okay, that we're going to cover that later. Uh, it's going to the position zero once again. Okay, so that's basically the idea of this movement. So I'm going to connect to the controller now. Okay, and then we can see how we can change this online. Okay, and let me see if I can show you. So how already creating a table, animation table. And what I have done is to add in the table the instance of the moments that i have in this motion task so i had the possibility to change those values okay i'm going to download this application okay just wait for this to finish okay so let's check a few things. So this one is already in power. Okay, what I'm going to do is to specify that this is my, uh, let me just change there, that this one gonna be my zero position, okay? So I'm going over here, set position zero. Okay, let me just check over here in the status. Read position, actual position zero. So uh, ba, 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 ba. let's go back here into the movements, motion table here. So I'm connected with this. I already specified this velocity, these parameters, but we should be able to change this. So what I'm going to do here in the first and I'm going to execute the loop. I'm just going to start one sequence. So the idea would be to go forward 10 times, then I stop for, I don't remember how, how long, for a few seconds. Um, let me just check. You cannot change anything. It should be three seconds, more or less. Three minutes, uh, 3,000 milliseconds. And then it will start with the movement. Okay, so if we go back here. With the movement, movement at this velocity. And there we go. So to, to, to enable. So let's start with this. So it's movement. It should be moving 10 times. I'm not going to count it. It's going to stop. Okay, and then we'll start with the position. Now I'm going to activate the touch probe, which is this one, but it will start with the uh, falling edge. So if I 
press zero now it should go to the other direction it will be finishing the zero and there we go okay probably i should do it slowly so if i want to modify this should I start with for example uh It's gonna be too slow. I'm going to make one turn, only one turn. The velocity for the movement, okay, is gonna be slower. Five and for the more absolute that I want to use, I haven't specified here. No problem. So it's gonna be. Right now, it's going to make one movement, okay, and one velocity, it will stop, it will go forward very slow, and then when I press one value for the touch group, it will go to zero into the uh, opposite direction, reverse. So, what I'm going to do is to create the loop, and then execute now. movement and 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 start again okay because i have put it the loop now i'm going to going back just wait the three seconds I start again and then when i put this one go back zero if i don't want this to be a constant loop i just remove the loop and put the zero box again and there we go okay and the moment has so this is how you can make the motion tax table for the m to the one when you're using the pto function so we have seen all the different movements what we're going to do next is to play with the touch probe okay in a um, better explanation than this one we have using it just briefly okay it's like uh, using a percentage m in this case in the motion table but in a specific input okay but we're going to cover that later so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one